Hi everyone! Well, <clears throat> sad to say, this is a redo of the uh, overview of the new Blood Bowl Chaos Edition. Uh, it was brought to my attention that uh, I forgot to talk about the World Cup uh, mode, which is a pretty big addition. So, my bad. So, let's do this for a second time. So, what's new with the new Chaos Edition? Aside from uh, some correction to uh, the game, for example, uh, there was a nasty bug with the AI getting broken when you use the, the wizard. That seems to have been corrected, thankfully. We have three new races. The Chaos Dwarves. Chaos Dwarves are a mix of Chaos Dwarves, of course, and of Goblins. So... They're definitely not as uh, durable as a regular Dwarven team, but they do have more speed. Oh well. Then you have Corn Demons. Corn Demons, well, that's if you really want to, to play a Chaos team. You already have Nurgle, and frankly speaking, I think that Nurgle team is more interesting overall. Um, they had to do some changes so that corn demons would actually work in Blood Bowl, but it doesn't really make sense that much having an incredibly small Bloodthirster, for example. So anyway, they're, they're new and they're, well, I can't say they're, they're a bashy team, but they're not incredibly durable. Finally, you have the Underworld team made of uh, Warpstone Gobbos and Warpstone Skavens and a Warpstone Troll who looks awesome. The, the main uh, characteristic of that team is that you have two different races in it and the Skaven have the animosity uh, skill I would say weakness, uh, which means that if they want to pass the ball or give the ball to a goblin or a troll, they need to roll uh, a die to see if they trust their teammate enough to hand them the ball. So these are the three new teams. Then you have a brand new... Uh, sorry. You have the brand new stadium. So let's do this. Brand new stadium uh, for the Lizardmen and Amazons. So, of course, it is a jungle themed stadium. It looks pretty good, I have to admit. So, you'll probably notice it from time to time when you play a campaign, for example. Uh, now if it, the game can load a little bit uh, faster, it would be nice. My computer is not state of the art. Anyway, so as I was saying, you have these new uh, features, and they really spruced up the uh, single player game by adding the World Cup uh, mode, which is not really the same thing as the campaign. There's a campaign, basically, you can play as long as you want. Ah, uh, here we go. Isn't it nice? It looks really nice, really. And as I said in my other video, you have the colorful triceratops at the end. Nice. Anyway, so yes. Thanks to all our faithful viewers here on Cabal so Television, I'll who just once get again out of join that us game. for this live Blood Bowl and transmission. And I'm Jim Johnson, nuts. assisted by that great ex-player, Bob Biffin. What's that strange there smell? There we go. It's not a fear. <laughs> I thought so. So now the match so is over. So let's take a look at the World know. Cup. Were you expecting right a at the game? end. Yeah, yeah I missed that first flop. time. Sorry oh, about that. So the big difference between the World Cup and the campaign that the World Cup is a series of uh, tournaments, but when you win, it's over. 
So that's the difference between a campaign and a World Cup. The World Cup really has that it's a very specific goal. In the campaign, you can just play as long as you want. There's no real goal to it. Except having fun, of course. And that's a goal all in itself. So, for example, uh, you have the championship here, where two teams qualify. Then you have the cup where one team will qualify per race, sorry. And then you have the final, eight groups of four teams, three matches per team. So it's similar to a, a big tournament, but a series of big tournaments. Because yeah, here you have round robin part, here it's elimination type, and final and the final. You can hit it. Ooh, that's nice. You can have a lot of groups. Oh boy. 14 teams. And you can have a bunch of them qualified too. That's good. <laughs> well, that's a bit too much. Oh. <laughs> so I'm not too sure what the. Uh, I. can't save, so I guess uh, I just asked too much. Oh, let's use eight teams instead. Uh, maybe six groups? Uh, I guess, well... Basically, I would have to uh, play with those... Uh, Trying to find a way to make it work. Ah well, forget about it. Anyway, so this is, this new mode is uh, there for people who want to play a, a more focused campaign. I might uh, do a let's play on uh, the World Cup uh, for one of the three new teams instead of a regular campaign. That could be interesting. Anyway, so this is what's new. Ah, no, I was editing it. Okay, well, forget about it. Competition name, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and you have, of course, to build your team because the team value is zero at the beginning. You don't have any players. So anyway, you can choose between Nation Cup or Nation Championship. So, uh, basically, that that's it. So, I'll get out of there. And I'll quit. Say without quitting, of course. And, of course, they have a new splash screen. Ooh. Well, of course, that is not really exciting. But still, the World Cup offers something really different uh, than uh, a regular campaign or just a plain competition. So the story mode is still there. I still haven't done it, so don't ask. I don't even know how it works. The tutorial, I don't need one. Sorry. So that's it. So I'll see you next time. I'm not too sure what uh, the next uh, videos will be about. It will probably be more... Uh, of the Gobbo uh, campaign uploads.